Hello guys, welcome everybody to Purple Haze Podcast. I am your lovely host, Isaac here. So basically, after this bye week, the basically, I'm going to explain basically that the Joshua Dobbs experiment pretty much ends right here, basically, after this bye week. And to put it this way, I was really hoping that I was wrong that this dude was actually turnover prone. But unfortunately, that is who he is. And and I feel bad, basically, because we were all so hyped up about this dude after the Falcons and the Saints game. And then the wheels pretty much fell off against the Broncos and the Bears where bad passes, just all this stuff. I mean, not a good look. He threw four interceptions against the Bears. And... He, it could have been, I it almost was five or six picks, basically, in that game. Besides that second to last, off third to last offensive possession that Joshua Dobbs had, it was terrible. But to be fair, I mean, the coaching, KOC did not set him up for, for, or did any favors for him. So, but I also can't defend Josh Dobbs because... You can't do four interceptions. That's not going to win you any game. So so basically what I am going to really talk about is that Jaron Hall, I mean, he should he should get the start over he should get the start for the rest of the season. This is basically it. Maybe including the playoffs. I don't know. If he balls out, I mean, but but the reason why, but Kevin O'Connell explained in his game presser that he said we have the option of Joshua Dobbs, Nick Mullins, or Jaron Hall. But I've seen a large enough sample size, basically, of Josh Dobbs and Jaron. I mean, I'm sorry, Nick Mullins. I've seen a large enough sample size to know that they basically are just backups for reasons. I mean, I would put Josh Dobbs as a backup to Jaron Hall in case, but, and Nick Mullins a backup to Joshua Dobbs. And to be clear, basically, they're both, I mean, it's just Jaron Hall, just, I just want to see what Jaron Hall is all about this rest of the season, going to the Raiders and ending with the Lions game. If he makes this, if he gets the teams to the playoffs and, maybe win some, I will take my chances with Jaron Hall as the quarterback for 2024. And so, really, I think that basically this is going to be really what we're going to see out of Jaron Hall. You drafted him, basically the fifth round out of BYU. You drafted him for a very good reason in in the draft. You didn't just sign him as an undrafted free agent. But... It would be fair to just put him out there and just see what this dude's all about. Because he's on his rookie year, and if he wins you a Super Bowl, then you're going to really extend him, which is really what we want. I want this dude to really ball out, but... But also, during the draft, I mean... You look at, basically, there's a lot of talent out there. There's quite a bit of talent. I know there is... Basically, as far as quarterback wise, but you could basically have either Jaron Hall or the other quarterback you're up to draft. Whether it be, I mean, Drake May and Caleb Williams ain't gonna fall. Maybe, maybe Bo Nix, maybe JJ McCarthy. I have no idea who's going to really fall, but 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 drafting a quarterback still wouldn't hurt, really regardless but that's for another conversation for now that's for another conversation but but I've already but as as far as like the future for 2024 I mean Jared Allen spoke on Kirk Cousins as far as like if he wants to be a quarterback he says he torn his Achilles so I mean, why would you spend that much money on him anyways? Which I totally agree with what Jared Allen is saying. 
Because I do think at 36 years old, suffering Achilles injuries, that's not going to cut it really. I mean, it's not going to work really as far as Kirk Cousins concerned because we need a mobile athletic quarterback. What we saw with the Falcons and the Saints, I've never seen that type of offense before where they're just moving the ball with ease against a pretty rela- a pretty decent um defenses against with the Falcons and maybe the Falcons, I don't know. But the Saints defense is actually pretty decent, so they were able to move the ball pretty effectively. So Jaron Hall needs to be the quarterback for this for the rest of the season and and I want and and that's exactly what I want to see. Cause the Falcons game after he went down, he looked pretty damn promising. He looked really promising on that second to last on that second drive against the Falcons. He almost led the team to a touchdown. Unfortunately, he got concussed trying to rush up the middle, but Jaron Hall is your quarterback one. If you agree or disagree, what say you? Make sure you guys hit that like button and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Skull.